as of now uh, we have performed some addition operation for a single bit only okay we have not done anything for more than one bit okay so if more than one bit is there then what we can do okay so we do we 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 uh, need to uh, like suppose uh, half address and full address simply can perform a single bit there is a like 1010101 something like that so the half header can add only these two digits full header can add with carry okay so the full header can perform only this operation okay but if i have to add four bit uh, data binary data parallelly then how we can do that okay so the how this binary data uh, works and accordingly we need to design few things so let us try to see how we can design those things uh let us assume uh i have a uh, four bit so let me write something uh bit 0 bit 1 bit 2 and bit 3 okay so there are uh, 3 bit and there could be one uh, uh, fourth bit uh, that carry can generate okay there may be a possibility like fourth bit could be the carry okay now let us talk talk about suppose i have numbers something like this one okay uh let us assume x0 x1 x2 and x3 and the another number let us assume y0 y1 y2 and y3 okay so let us assume this these are the numbers and i want to add these two numbers okay so what will be the results let us try to see the first result will give you like if i am adding the first bit so that will give you like x0 plus y0 and let us consider this is giving the sum zero okay and there is a chance that carry will be generated okay so yeah let us assume the previous carry like c not this is equal to zero because if this is the first one okay c not is equal to zero okay but the second carry like the from this addition maybe there is a possibility like carry will be generated so the first carry and that will be forwarded to this one so this is how the c1 here c2 will be here c3 will be here and that generates like s1 c2 s2 c3 s4 and c4 which is the carry output okay so this is the simple uh things how the we are adding the numbers okay so let me highlight few things which are required so this is the carry which we are forwarding here this is the carry which we are forwarding here this is the carry which we are forwarding here and the last carry this is the final one so this is how we do the binary addition now let us try to design the circuit for this one now can anyone tell me uh what are the different circuits that we need to perform this one can anyone tell me can we design this with the help of uh, half header and the full header can we do that yes sir yes so can you explain anyone can explain like how we can do that how is it possible to do yeah absolutely really? true we can do that we will use four half a uh, four full headers four full header will be required absolutely correct but there is one more thing uh, either i can need three full header and one half header if there is no carry previously because uh, the first digit does not have any carry right so we can use yeah so absolutely correct so the first header that can perform x0 and uh, y0 and that can give the s0 and the carry can be generated okay but the important thing is uh, if uh, yeah, we are not considering the carry in this case this will become the half header okay and but if we are considering the previous carry which is zero and i am considering if zero is equal to, uh, c0 is equal to zero so in that case i will tell it is the 
full adder. So I can utilize half adder or the full adder, uh, full adder for this first step. Okay, so half and full adder both can solve the purpose. Now, once this carry is generated, I need full adder. Half adder, now the half adder will not solve your purpose. In that case, you need two half adder and one OR gate. Okay, so instead of using those much of hardware, just use one single hardware. That is the full adder. Okay, so you need one full adder that the carry from the previous bit will be uh, generated and that you can forward it to the next one. Similarly, the next bit and the next bit that you will get something like this. Okay, so this is the C4, how it will look like. Okay, so this is the simple uh, structure of this one. If we try to see this block diagram, like here, uh, this particular module, we call it the four bit parallel binary adder or binary parallel adder, where I have total number of 10 inputs, uh, no, uh, nine inputs and the five outputs. So if I want to make a chip, okay, if I see for the four bit adder, in that case, I, re I may require uh, nine number of inputs, input pins, and five number of output pins and some of the pins for the supply voltages. Okay, so let us try to see how it looks like. If you see here in the block diagram form, uh, we can have the X0, X1, X, X2, and X3, Y0, Y1, Y2, and Y3. And then that will give you some sum that will give you like S3, S2, S1, and S0. We will have one carry input and we will have one carry output. So if we have a, some structure, some block, something like that, this can act as a four bit parallel adder, binary parallel adder, okay? And to perform this operation, definitely we have a IC and that IC is 74LS283, okay? So 74LS283 IC is utilized for four bit binary parallel adder. You don't need IC for adder, uh, uh, half adder and full adder and we need to combine it, no. Directly, you can get uh, the IC, one single IC that can uh, work for this purpose, okay? So see here, how many pins we need? Uh, we know that we need uh, four plus four plus four plus two. And so uh, the total pins required like uh, 14 pins for the actual input and output pairs and two pins for the supply and the ground. So ground and supply voltage are here, uh, pins are here and rest all other pins are for the input and output and uh, inputs and outputs. So this is the simple IC that can perform the four bit binary parallel adder operation. Okay, so uh, in the lab, we will do that. Okay, so we will have this IC and we will give the input, different possibilities of input and we'll try to check whether carry is generating or not. So uh, when the lab will be conducted in the April and so, uh, we will try to validate all these things, okay. So this is how we have a, a simple IC that can uh, act as a uh, four bit binary parallel adder, okay? Now, because we have this IC and we have this block diagram representation, let us try to utilize this binary, uh, binary adder for some of the things. Like what are the different applications that we can consider for binary parallel adder. Binary pa parallel adder means, it does not mean that we can use this binary parallel adder just to add two numbers. No, uh, this is very universal kind of uh, uh, adder that has multiple operations that can perform the multiple operations. Or what are those multiple operations? Let us try to see. Okay, suppose uh, as of now, we have just seen like this, particular block is nothing but this is the four bit parallel adder. Okay, this is what we have seen in the previous slide here. If you see here, four bit par parallel adder has X0 to X3, Y0 to Y3, S0 to S3, C0 and C4. So these all are the uh, input and output which we have in the four bit parallel adder. Now let us try to see in this diagram. Here we have uh, Y0 to Y3, X0 to X3, S0 to S3, C0 and C4. So whatever the circle I have made in the red color, that is not, this is nothing but this is the four bit parallel adder. Okay, now let us try to utilize it. Uh, can anyone tell me what is this module? This upper module, this red uh, circle module, what this module is and how this model can work? Yes. 
sir it is either a buffer or it is either an inverter or buffer yes it is sir. either inverter That's or perfect. buffer perfect because this is the xor gate and we know that the xor function is like suppose i have a two inputs 0 and 1 1 it gives output like 0 1 1 0 so if i am providing one input to ground gate so it will act as a buffer okay and if i am providing one of the input to the logic high then it will act as an inverter okay so what we can say here uh, this module like z is acting as a control signal here and if z is equal to 0 in that case it will act as a simple data transfer whatever the data i will receive from v0 to v3 this will be the same okay so i just told you uh, this particular module uh, work as a uh, either it will act as a buffer or it will act as an inverter so if z is equal to 0 in this case it will act as a buffer buffer means whatever the data we have received from b0 to b3 that will be transferred to uh, y0 to y3 so we can uh, simply say data transfer operation will be uh, performed okay so data transfer will be there data transfer or buffer we can say both if z is equal to 1 in this case it will act as a complement okay so this is what we know now we have one more thing uh, this c naught can also act as a control signal okay so c naught can also act as a control signal so let us try to see what are the different functions here okay and what are the different possibilities that we can see first possibility is like yeah see yeah, uh, i am considering this z and this c naught as a control signal okay and if i am considering this as a control signal so the total possibilities will be like 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 and 1 so these are the total possibilities that we can have now let us try to see if the input is same whatever we have okay if the input is same like b3 b2 b1 and b0 okay if the input is same then what will happen now let's try to check the things i'm just uh, initially uh, i'm concerned yeah uh, this is the one of the condition which we can see like c naught and j and one more possibility could be like the the second input pair is like a32 uh, a0 okay this is the another input so let us first consider if a32 a0 is 0 so what i have done here i have for the first case i have connected these to the grounded or i have just simply connected it to the logic zero okay so if it is grounded then what will happen what binary parallel adder do this used to add this y not to y3 to x not to x3 so one by one this uh, so what will happen if i have provided a3 to a not is equal to zero in that case whatever the input that i will receive at y0 to y3 this will simply be transferred to the S3 to S0. Let me repeat it again what I am saying. For the first case, like in the first case, what I am considering, A3 to A, uh, A0 naught is 0. So if this is 0, like X0 to X3 is equal to 0, the actual operation of 4-bit parallel adder is to add this Y3 to Y0 with this X3 to X0. But if x3 to x0 is equal to 0 or a3 to a0 is equal to 0 in that way what we are doing we are adding uh, y3 to y0 with 0 and that will give the same result so the first thing is if i am considering the z is equal to 0 so the b0 will be transferred to this one i am considering the first case in the first case z is equal to 0 so this b0 to b3 will be transferred to y3 to y0 so at this point i will get b3 to b0 and because i am adding this b3 to b0 with a0 to a3 so i will get s3 to s0 same as whatever we have the input which is the b3 to b0 okay again because see here i am i have considered the c0 is equal to 0 if the c0 is equal to 0 means previous carry is equal to 0 
okay so previous carrier is equal to zero means that will be discarded and if that will be discarded so for the first case yeah yeah sorry for the first case the uh, output will be what will be the output can anyone tell me what will be the output for the first case b3 b2 b1 b2 b3 b2 b1 and b0 okay i will get the same thing so what is this function we are getting the same thing means we are getting the data transfer kind of operation we are just simply this will act as a data transfer okay so data transfer is there now let us talk about the second case considering the a3 to a0 is equal to 1 can anyone tell me what is the uh, input will be same like i am considering the input is same b3 b2 b1 and b0 uh, for all i am considering the input is same b3 b2 b1 and b0 yeah please tell me uh, what is the function for this possibility like for other cases Can anyone tell me? Sir, B3, B2, B1 and 1. Okay. So, if you see here, B3, B2, B1, B0 and then we are adding this C0. So, what we are doing? We are incrementing the value by 1. Is it? Okay. So, yes. whatever, the, whatever the results we have, that results uh, we are adding uh, we are incrementing it with with one. So we can say simply this function is nothing but b three, b two, b one, b naught plus one. So this is nothing but this is the increment by one. What is the function for? uh third one can anyone tell me for third again this c naught will become zero that equals to one then input should be inverted input will be inverted right so whatever the output i will get that will be like b3 bar b2 bar b1 bar and uh b naught bar what it means this is the ones complement of the number whatever the number i have here that i will get at the output ones complement okay so ones complement will be received can anyone tell me what about the second case ones complement it is two it looks like a two whatever the ones complement i have i am adding one here so that will become the twos complement okay so that the function will become b3 complement b2 complement b1 complement b0 complement plus one so this is nothing but this looks like a two's complement okay now let us consider if a3 a2 a1 a0 is non-zero okay so if it is non-zero then what will be the results please tell me for all the possible combinations all four combinations what will be the results so the uh, addition of two numbers over so if you see here what we are doing we are simply adding the number or two we are adding two numbers like simply uh, uh, like let me consider it as a a and this as a b okay so what we are doing we are adding a plus b this will be the operation okay what about the second one so a plus b plus one a plus b plus one we are doing a plus b plus one what about the next one the so ones complement addition we are adding like we are doing some addition with the ones complement okay so if you see here a plus b plus 1 in the next case what we are doing we are uh, adding a number with ones complement 
can you tell me where is the application of this one this case where we can use this function subtraction of two number huh? subtraction subtraction operation perfect so now see here this case is utilized for the addition one but this one can be utilized for the subtraction purpose okay so whatever the number i have which i want to subtract that i have to connect it to this point and from here i have to connect i have to connect here and the results will be the subtraction okay so i have to if i want to subtract a if i want to perform a minus b in that case i have to connect uh, like z is equal to 1 c not is equal to 0 and the function will be whatever we have so that we can get like the this uh, a plus b complement and that can be utilized for the subtraction okay what about the fourth combination two complement addition yeah so again we are doing it like uh, a plus b bar plus one so here again we we know that we can also perform some subtraction operation with the help of two's complement method right so again we can utilize this uh, two's complement method for this operation so this is what we can see like what are the different operations that we can perform with the help of binary adder okay other operations are also possible, right? Nines complement, tens complements are all, also possible. Can anyone tell me if I want to, uh, if I have a number, something like that, uh, one, zero, one, zero, and I want to calculate the nines complement of this one. How we can do that? What is, uh, how to do the nine complement? We simply, what uh, we know that whatever the number I have that I have, uh, I have to subtract that number from the nine then we can get the nines complement. This is the simple fundamental for the nines complement. Okay, so if we talk about this number, suppose I have a number something like this, one, zero, one, zero, and this number is nothing but this is equivalent to six. Okay, and what I have to do to find the nines complement of this six one, I have to subtract this from nine and that whatever the results I'm getting, that will be three. So if I have to find, suppose I have to perform the nines complement of this number. So can anyone tell me what, what will be the status of each bit? like and what are the control signals i have to perform the nines complement of this number 1010 so what is the status of a0 a1 a2 a3 b0 b1 b2 b3 and uh, two control signal like z and c0 what is the status of all these things So we will use the third case. We will use the third, third case. Like one's complement we used. Like this one? Yes, sir. Okay. Check it out. What you are getting? Sir, A3, A2, A1 and A0 would be equal to, sir, uh, equivalent to nine decimal. Okay, perfect. So this will be equivalent to one double zero one and you want to subtract this B. So this B will be nothing but this will be 1010, one, zero, whatever the numbers I have. And if I want to subtract this number from this one, so I need to use this case, right? A plus B complement. And for that purpose, I need to connect Z is equal to 1. Z will be 1 and C will become 0. So this is the case at which we can find the nines complement. Okay, so yeah, uh, similarly, you can find a tens complement. For tens complement, you can go for this one. Nines complement plus one, that gives the tens complement. Okay, so this is what you can perform the variety of uh, operations with the help of this binary parallel reader. Okay, so this is that much easy. Uh, do you have any doubt, anyone? Uh, if you have any doubt, you can ask the question. Okay, I will uh, explain you in detail. Okay, so I'm assuming like uh, the doubts are clear. There is no doubt. Okay, so let me move ahead for that. Now, what happens if I have to design a, a eight bit binary parallel adder? Then how we can design? Can anyone tell me how we can design the eight bit binary parallel adder? Can anyone tell me what is the process that we have to follow?
we can use like the previous case we use four uh, full headers uh, here we can use eight instead of four eight full header other other alternative sir we can use two four bit full header perfect absolutely correct because we already have a, a four bit parallel header right so one four bit parallel header the carry from the first four bit parallel header will be transferred to the second one okay so for four bit like suppose i have to perform this kind of operation let us assume i have a eight bit binary data so what we used to do we used to perform some uh, addition operation so for this purpose we need four bit bin binary parallel header and whatever the carry is generated from here that we are transferring it to the next one okay so how we can connect simply uh, we required two four bit parallel header and the carry of the first parallel header will be connected to the input of the second one and then we will get the uh, structure something like this and this is what that much simple it is so uh, this will give you the eight bit binary parallel header kind of structure okay i think there is no doubt on this so this is how we can perform the eight bit binary parallel error with the help of uh, uh, two four bit binary parallel error definitely we can also utilize the uh, full headers and half headers so in that case we need uh, seven full headers okay one two three four five six seven full header one half header is required okay so instead of uh, that much of hardware you can use these two kind of so uh, yeah definitely we can also make with the help of half header with the help of full header with the help of this binary parallel header all are the possibilities okay so as we are going into the more detail like if we are decreasing the abstraction like the highest abstraction could be like we can utilize a two four bit binary, binary parallel header then the next abstraction level could be like we can use uh, eight full header uh, to make this circuit we can uh, next abstraction level could be like we can use 16 half header to make this so this completely depends on like yeah definitely the question can can come something like what is the minimum number of half header is required to design eight bit binary parallel header so you need to know how we can calculate it so direct, you need to find all those numbers okay so this is these, these are some tricks uh, by which you can uh, check it out okay so just if you know the hierarchy like uh, what is the abstraction label like uh, and accordingly you can find the different logic gates which are used to design that particular function okay so this is the thing i hope the points are clear okay now let us talk about uh, the the next uh, kind of the adder circuit is the uh, look ahead carry binary header now let us talk about what is this look ahead carry uh, look ahead carry binary header is okay and what why we need this kind of uh, binary header or any any other kind of circuits okay so let us try to see the importance or use of this carry ahead header uh, important thing is whatever the things we which we have uh, studied before all those things are basically uh, if you see here let me go back to this one what we are doing here if you see here we are adding these two numbers and we are getting some number here and whatever the carry is generated that carries forward to this point then this is to get the this is added then sum is coming then carries forwarded then sum is coming uh, uh, some sum is added and carries forwarded what it means the last carry whatever uh, we, we are getting over here that need to wait the number of digits we have like if i have eight bit data so i need it to wait at least eight td time period to get the actual carry output let me repeat it again what i am saying suppose i am using the conventional structure normal this binary header or simple half header or full header kind of structure in that case what we are doing we are simply adding these two numbers and whatever the sum is coming we are used we used to write over here and whatever the carry is generated we are forwarding that carry to the next sum then we are adding with the carry we are getting sum then carry is forwarded so the similar kind of step is performed for all the digits okay so 
the total delay like each operation will take some delay time period and if i am assuming each operation is the time delay is td so the total time required to get the c8 it will be like 8 tcd and which is very high even though uh, these sums are already available with us these sums are already available with us but i need to wait at least for 8 td time period to get actual sum and the carry output okay so this is the problem so to overcome that problem what we can do we can consider a different kind of uh, adder and that adder we call it the carry look ahead adder okay or look ahead carry adder okay. so let us see what is the structure uh, if you see here uh, the sum uh, is given with the help of this one suppose if i am talking about the uh, if i have to add eight numbers okay because for sum we need x and y that i have to add and this c is the carry input okay similarly the carry is given uh, is uh, is written like we know that xy plus yz plus zx this is the uh, function for the carry okay if we try to simplify this one so that will become xy and take this uh, carry carry which is z z we are taking it out okay and y plus z will be here and we know that this next carry depends on the previous bit whatever xi and uh, yi is <coughs> okay so the sum and the carry expression in the generalized way the sum and the carry expression can be written like this okay so if i is equal to 0 sum will be x0 y0 and c0 if i is equal to 0 then carry will be like uh, x0 y0 plus x0 c0 plus y0 c0 and that will that will give you the c1 okay so this is the simple formula for uh, the sum and the carry or generalized formula for sum and carry now uh, if we try to simplify something let us try to take some some uh, components out here we have one component x i n y y i and here is the second component x i plus y i so i am considering this x i y i as a carry generator and p i is the carry propagation okay so this is what we are considering two different variables now let us try to see if i want to make for four bit okay so the total delay what will be the total delay let's consider if i is equal to 0 then c1 will be simply like g0 plus c0 uh, plus p0 okay see simply here ci is given by with by gi plus pi ci so the c1 will be like this if i is equal to 1 then the c2 will be like g1 plus p1 and c1 similarly if uh, 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 if i want to calculate uh, if like see here this value c1 is, uh, c2 is depends on g1 plus p1 c1 and this c1 we have already calculated over here so if i used to uh, put this value on this equation i will get the expression something like this okay so this will become the final expression so the c2 will become in terms of c1 so the c2 is started operating with the help of c0 p0 itself only it is not waiting for the next one okay so this is how we can do that similarly you can calculate for c3 okay so the carry it does not need to wait for that much of time it can immediately immediately start processing the final carry okay so even though if i have a c3 so c3 can start uh, performing yeah well, this section will be perform this section will be perform immediately and then they can do it okay so this is how they can save the delay uh, due to the parallel addition okay and the simplified function for the carry will be something like this one okay so the carry generator is given by this one so if we try to uh, design some four bit carry look ahead adder this will look like this okay so this is the simple structure how it will look like okay so if you see here how many stages are needed so the total number of stages if you see the first stage will be this one okay second stage if you see here most of the bits are uh, uh, 
considering the p0 p1 and previous one only so the second delay or the second time delay will be like this third one will be like this step and the fourth one will be like this one so what happens uh, in the carry look ahead adder the parallel carry generation is possible okay so uh, this is how we can utilize this uh, carry look ahead adder okay so directly we can generate and propagate the carries so this is the advantage of carry look ahead adder and this is all about the carry look ahead adder